Hey, what's up everyone? This is Wicked Android HD and today I'm going to be showing you how to flash latest Omega RAM version 42 developed by Indy. He lives in Greece right now and uh, as you may already know from news, uh, they have a really special situation there. Things are not going really well as they should. Um, but uh, let's get uh, over this problem. Uh, God bless Indy, God bless his family, God bless uh, everyone there in Greece. Uh, I hope everything will be okay. So, apart from that, um, this new variant comes with a new base, OF2 base, the latest lollipop base from uh, developed by Samsung, and uh, it is recommended to make a full wipe before proceeding to the next step. Um, if you're running uh, a previous version of Omega, let's say version 41, um, it's very risky to flash this without a wipe, even though it's uh, an Omega ROM. But um, you may try it if you're running into some problems. If you run into some problems, make sure you wipe uh, and flash it again. As I do always recommend making an Android backup before proceeding to the flashing part of your current configuration because it's nice to have a stock. Um, it's nice to have your configuration stocked on your internal SD card and all you have to do if something goes wrong or you don't like the cover, the ROM you're going to be flashing um, you'll uh, just need to go and restore it either from SD card or SD card or external SD card but let's get into the flashing part right now so after you've done your backup and all of these things that I mentioned before um, all you need to do is to wipe and format options, go and clean to install a new ROM. So right now it is uh, wiping. Okay, so after you wipe your device, you're ready to flash the latest version of Omega, which I have here. Omega version 42 OF2 base. Install and we'll get into the ROM installer and we'll set this ROM in order to be one hell of a slim one the bloated so Omega version 42 stock team stock yes full wipe again accounting profile no I won't need this I will need Omega profile uh, files Recycle bin, task manager shortcut. That this would be interesting. Okay, I don't need uh, Chrome. Nope. Gmail. Nope. Google camera. Nope. Drive. Nope. Maps. Maybe. Google Plus. Nope. Hangouts. Videos. Nope. You, you, we'll test the YouTube uh, 1080p. How how smooth it runs. Dropbox, no, no, no. Interactive tutorial, no. Live wallpapers, I would like to have them. My files. My files. We'll, we'll keep that. Polaris viewer, yes. Samsung update, nope. Samsung calculator, yes. Samsung music, nope. Samsung video, nope. Samsung wallet, no. Samsung watch on, no. Samsung fonts, yes. S kids mode installer no SL no S memo no, no. Okay, we'll get into this. So S voice nope. Voice recorder yes. Never used it, but you never know. AccuWeather widget. Yeah, let's check it out because I f I I found that uh, it's the Note 4 variant. Digital clock. Nope. Dolphin browser. Nope. Yes, File Explorer. Nope. Flash player. Nope. Easy call recorder. Maybe let's test it. And click install. ROM. The ROM is flashing right now. Um. One thing to be mentioned before I will quit this recording uh, the first booting process will take up to 25 or even more, even 30 minutes 
because uh, Lollipop is converting the cash type from art, from um, Dalvik to art and uh, yeah so I'll get back to you guys with my device configuring on Omega version 42 ROM and I'll give you my impressions about it stay tuned okay guys I'm back here and sincerely I gotta tell you something you asked me about what was the best ROM for your Galaxy S4 and I told you that uh, in case of uh, if uh, you wanted a KitKat ROM it was one of light version 3.1 if you're wondering what's the best lollipop ROM for your Galaxy S4 then you came to the right place this is the best by far the best Galaxy S4 ROM based on Lollipop. I gotta tell you why. First of all, everything is working absolutely perfect along with Imperium kernel. I will tell you, I will show you everything and let me see Imperium kernel version 2.2 and I will show you my S2X configurations just to make sure you guys know what I use Intelli plug hot plug mechanism along with the uh, Intelli MM governor and uh, a GPU I'm using simple governor and the rest is stock now there was some bugs on Lollipop first one It's really hard to to tell what was the biggest one but for me it was the lag in the recent tab bar now there isn't any kind of lag thanks to a fix that I found on uh, on XDA and it actually works on Omega ROM let me show you something let me open some map, some apps messages clock my files for example play store settings task manager now you see all these apps here when you were about to scroll up or down you had some serious lag check this out check this out how smooth it is how smooth it is no problem at all. The second problem that uh, Lollipop came with was the lag in 1080p videos. I found a fix for that. Let's see a 1080p video. We'll check this out. For example, let me turn down the music and pay attention. I will set it at 1080p it's already set in 1080p and it's already in 1080p and as you may see not a single problem no lag I will tell you how to get rid of this two uh, bad uh, points that uh, Lollipop came with um, just check the description, I'll explain everything uh, right down below. So this is Omega 40, 44, 42, sorry. Based on OH, OF2 base. Apart from that, everything is working perfect. Even Exposed Module, which I'm going to be showing you right now. Exposed Installer, Framework. Exposed framework is active, and I have installed to the fix um, lollipop memory leak, the color fade thing, and the one I'm exposed. And sh just to show you that it is working, I set up the clock to be a little bit smaller and to be centered, along with the disabling this uh, S Finder button and quick connect. And we're gonna click fast reboot. 
just to show you that uh, exposed framework works perfectly um, now the fix for recent sap panel um, how can you fix that you just download the the system uh, user interface dot apk and uh, replace it with the one that you got and you'll be as smooth as I am right now <laughs> um, as you may see the clock is centered without a single problem and we also got rid of the S uh, S thing everything is working again without one single lag it's uh, been uh, now it's loading up after reboot it's uh, it's okay to have some lags but afterwards everything is gonna be okay everything is working perfectly in terms of RAM random access memory after you reboot one of uh, one eight let's see after you clean all the memory which I do not recommend only because it's fast enough to handle all the apps as you may see it's decreasing 0.8 let's say 0.8 of uh, 1.8 so you have almost 1 gig of RAM free which is very cool um, what else you guys need to know yes I think I'll switch to Lollipop this fix is gave me the opportunity to see how beautiful uh, Lollipop was um, that's why I didn't actually got to Lollipop until now because uh, I was really upset with this um, minor but major things like the terrible lag in the recent sub panel and the 1080p which was a must for me since I'm doing a lot of videos and watching a lot of videos the 1080p lag was just <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> it was crucial but without a miss everything is working perfectly even the multi multi window where 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 as planner and let's say let's open root explorer okay so this is working perfectly how to fix um, the lag in the 1080p video you have here you'll have two files which are named the same you have to copy these ones I'll put a link in the description with the, the files you have to copy them into your root folder system and lib sorry this one and you have to replace them right here then reboot your device and you're done how to fix the the system UI um, the Bruce and Sap panel lag you just have to copy this customized system UI into your uh, prev app scroll down until you see system UI and then replace this as you may see I have already made a backup it's uh, 6 megabytes um, bigger but uh, it's better that it's optimized and fast not a single problem with okay the lock screen really fast and smooth what else you guys need to know about this ROM um, the no interruptions button feature works perfectly prior to interruptions only if you long press you'll get into this uh, menu it is really nice to have really really nice touch sensitivity air view air gesture let's let's see if uh, no if they work I have to sorry I have to set the lock screen effect to 
light effect what the fuck air gesture okay air move air brows quick glass air call accept well I don't really remember because I don't use these features but just to show you guys that they are working it was a feature that it was a uh, scanning your finger and it it knew it was there on the lock screen yeah either way um, mobile hotspot Wi-Fi is working perfectly so yeah I think that was it for today guys I hope you like it if again I'm telling you guys this is the best lollipop ROM you'll ever find currently on your Galaxy S4 if you follow the steps that I'll be putting in the description to fix all the bugs you will be fine and you will be you will feel that this is clearly the best ROM on market right now speaking about the battery life I cannot uh, tell you enough I don't know what was the battery like when I started the video I guess it uh, it was 50 or something but right now it's 48 um, it's normal to be to drain a lot of battery after you flash around because it's not really calibrated you need to make a full charge and then you'll I'll tell you an opinion the opinion my opinion <laughs> the opinion my opinion the opinion uh, in uh, the comments right down below and I hope you guys like this video please thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. Thank you for watching guys. Wicked Android is out. Bye bye.